All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest man on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have... You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go. Number one versus number two to determine the baddest man on the planet. Round one is underway of this UFC Heavyweight Championship fight. It could be a quick night at the office. We shall find out in short order. Quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates ahead outside to a high garage. Oh. He flips him over the top. What a huge takedown. I mean, do I survive that or did I get my last one? Absolutely round? not. You don't survive that. It's over. It's over, John. Oh, collar tie. Oh, and he hip tosses it to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. Oh, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Oh, single collar tie here. Whoa! Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. So he's sort of turtled up here, not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Just over two minutes, round one. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Side control now. Oh, it looks like he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. A lot of body weight from the top position. How does he go about trying to finish this fight? He just needs to stay heavy. He's got to keep his weight down. He's got to be working 
but not working recklessly because this is a position that you can escape. Make sure you secure your opponent and make sure you secure your opponent. Land strikes that matter and ends his fight. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Oh, and he's back up again. Oh, he's got his back. He's got to get him in the air to try to return him to the mat. Now, oh, and a quick entry. Great single entry. Rotates the high crunch. He's taking for a ride. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Jab falls up with a nice right hand. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. <laughs> over the top, this fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his swing touch for low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, huge kick. Really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. Back to the feet. Nice double leg shot. Oh, massive slam. That'll change the complexion of this one. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. Now he's going to attack the triangle choke here. Encouraging as he gets right back up again. Big punch land. Ooh. And able to land that kick to the chin. Whoa! What a fantastic strike. And the exact right moment. He deserves this one. Go finish his fight. Oh, straight right. That was a nice combination there. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most skipped on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh, and he lands another takedown here. Just a nice shot, not telegraphing his shot. Clean entries. The Olympian's got to like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checker. He's playing chess. He can't keep up once he gets to his legs. He's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. here he's got the full mount a lot of different ways he can go here maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground and pound. he can attack submissions but those submissions will present themselves 
once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling, or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shot. Absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Knockout! And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, And still the baddest man on the planet. I know you haven't retired yet, but uh, I don't necessarily want to see you share the octagon with that one. I mean, this dude is a savage. There, 